Hi, it's Katie from Nolchin's Fashion Entrepreneur Report. We're bringing you daily videos to make business easy for the fashion-minded. Today, I'm with Alex Montemero, president of Worldwide TV Products, and she'll be talking today about how to sell your brand on a major shopping network. Thanks for joining us, Alexis. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Okay, Good. let's start out by asking what's the best way to approach a major shopping network. There's several different ways to approach major shopping networks. When we're speaking of the major shopping networks in the U.S., we're really talking about HSN, otherwise known as, known as the Home Shopping Network, QVC, and Shop NBC. You can certainly contact the networks directly. Most of them on their websites, on their homepage, will have a vendor link. If you click through that, you, you, uh, they'll lead you through a product submission form. So that's certainly one way that you can approach the networks, but it can be very lengthy. You're not really sure who's, who, who is reviewing it, and you're not, you're not getting that instantaneous feedback. Another way to get in touch with the networks would be to attend different trade shows because all of the major networks have bought attending all the relevant trade shows. The best way, which I think is the best way to uh, approach the networks, is to use an agent or a rep, uh, rep company. The reps are either groups of um, individuals, groups of individuals, or companies who are entirely in business to help represent your product on the shopping networks. They're kind of the liaison between the vendors and the networks. A good rep agency will be located near one of the networks because they need to be there. They need to be in the faces of the buyer, the merchandising assistant, the production team, because there's so many different le different little avenues when you get into a network. There's so many steps to be taken that when people come to us and they say, well, why should we use a rep agency? What we always tell them is, we can't guarantee your success, but we give you the best shot. We make sure that all everything is done correctly and that you're not missing any of the avenues that are available to you. Okay, and as far as products, are there anything specific that networks are looking for? You know, all networks are looking for different things at different times depending on what their current product assortment is, but in general, most networks are looking for unique products, products that are different that they can't get everywhere else, products that have limited distribution because if I see a product and I can get it at every single store on the down the road, why am I going to pick up a phone and actually make the call to get something shipped to my house? So you certainly want to have limited uh, uh, distribution. Another thing they're looking for is demonstrability or that it has a story because the beauty of the networks is that they have the ability to bring your product to life. You're able to sell, um, tell the background story and tell about how the, you had the inspiration for the product or how the materials came to be for the product, or what the manufacturing uh, process for the product is, or if there's any intricate details that are being done to the product. So whereas in traditional brick and mortar, your product's just sitting on a shelf, and it really doesn't have the ability to speak for itself, now you have the ability to speak for your product. So mm -hmm. they're really looking for products that have a really great story. Okay, and can you give some tips to designers looking to um, book a, a spot on a shopping network for the first time? Uh, yes, tips that I would have is once they were able to secure a spot on the network is um, they should certainly take a really, really close look at the um, assortment that they're bringing in and the pricing. You really want to make sure that the the um, largest amount of people is able to try your product. So a lot of time, a lot of designers and a lot of brands will come in and they have a certain idea in their mind of what their product should sell for. But what I always tell them is, well, would you rather sell something for $100 and sell 200 of it, or would you rather price it at 50 and sell 2,000 to 10,000 of it? You really have to make sure that the, the main goal when you first go on a television shopping network should be to get your product into as many hands as possible, to give as many customers uh, a chance to experience your brand and your product. So you really want to go through and make sure that you have the correct products being offered and that you have the correct pricing. Okay, and what are some benefits to designers of selling on a major na shopping network? There's so many benefits, but I'll try and break it down to a couple of them. Mm -hmm. um, one of the biggest benefits is that you're getting your house, your um, your product into, depending on the network, over 78 million homes at one time. It's, it's unbelievable exposure. It's the best marketing program, and you don't have to pay for it. You know, you go in and you bring the product, and the networks do the marketing for you. The, the other the benefit, one of the other benefits would certainly be the ability to give a story to your product and to be able to give a story to your brand because buying is such an emotional process as it is that when you're able to connect 
the face behind the brand and the stories behind why something was created. It's a message that can't be replicated in any other venue. So that's those are two of my main benefits for why to go on a shopping network. Well, Alexis, I appreciate you joining us and teaching us how to sell your brand on a major shopping network. And thanks, everyone, from Katie at Nolcha's Fashion Entrepreneur Report.